Hi, welcome back. In this video we'll have a look at how to build fences with splines in GE1005. To build fences around the place we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need a spline which outlines the location where the fence is going to be and we need a fence object. We will start with the fence objects. We can find them in the installation directory of farming simulator under data placeables. Brandless, we have a folder called Fences, and over here we'll just pick one. Um, we can find different types of fences. To start off, we're just going to drag this in here. And when we press F, we go to the objects. We should see all the objects on top of each other. We're going to spread them out a little, a little bit so it's easier to see what's going on. We have a single panel, um, or actually, those are multiple panels on top of each other. And we have the same thing with the poles and the gates. We're not going to use them all. We actually don't really even need to do this. Um, these are the objects we are going to place on our uh, spline. But then we also need the spline, so let's create it over here create spline control b and click somewhere to place it i will press the left and right arrow keys to remove the middle node select the end node press control b and click and hold <coughs> and then press insert to place new nodes on the spline um, when you let go of the mouse button, just press Ctrl B again, click the mouse button, hold it, and press insert where you want the new nodes to be. We're just going to put a fence across all of this field. To be exact. There we go, maybe for the start point. Like this, so it lines up better. Okay, we'll try that. So, that's not great over here. Let's fix those, fix those couple points that are wrong. that our spline is all the way on the terrain. Great, now we have the spline. We know we want to um, add the poles and the panels. The last part we need is this link you can find in the description. We're going to need the script. Um, it's not that big, we're just going to copy it. Go to GE, open up this window. And with our spline selected, we are going to paste it in here, in the bottom window. And then we go all the way to the top. And we still need to uh, check these values. So amount 200, we'll leave that for now. Maybe that's enough. Uh, fence length 2, that should be the default. So we're also going to keep that. Then we have to say which panel we want to spawn. So we're, I'm going to select one of those panels we imported earlier. And copy the ID on the top right. And for the poll, I'll just take this object and copy it in over here that we have selected the panel and a poll <coughs> ID of the object that we want to spawn. Then I can select my spline. I can click over here and press Shift Enter to run the script. And the script should generate a new fence object with panels and poles all the way around. until the end but over here we can see it's just a little bit short that's probably this amount if we're just going to increase this um, maybe delete this fence select our spline again run the script again shift enter now it's continuing and except for the last part but we can fix that manually we can just duplicate this poll 
and move it over here. And then our fence is completed. Um, yeah, that's it. Enjoy. Have fun.